Did he say anything when he did this, or did he just literally pull out a knife and just start stabbing him? He just pulled out a knife and started stabbing him. So what you're seeing there is a Navy SEAL who's being interviewed by Navy investigators about the experience of being abroad and serving with Edward Gallagher, a former SEAL who has made a big name for himself, especially in right-wing circles this year after he was accused of multiple war crimes and then found himself a celebrity for Pete Hegseth and Fox and Friends and eventually Donald Trump as well. He has since been acquitted of most of the crimes. But there are still big concerns, and these tapes coming out now. Some of the quotes from these seals are are just amazing. Let's let's run through a few. First of all, in case you're not familiar with Chief Gallagher, a platoon member say that they had seen him shooting civilians and fatally stabbing a wounded captive with a hunting knife. Three seals said that they saw him go to a sedated captive for no reason, stab him to death, and then hold an impromptu reenlistment ceremony over the body as if it were a trophy. And so, in general terms, what is this person like according to the men that have served with him? Well, one said, asked whether the chief had a bias against Middle Eastern people, Special Operator Scott replied, I think he just wants to kill anybody he can. Another special operator said the guy is freaking evil. A third said the guy was toxic. And a fourth said you could tell he was perfectly okay with killing anybody that was moving. Okay. And so this person you might have seen if you were invited to the Mar-a-Lago Trump Christmas party, he was partying it up there with the president. So I want to remind everybody, including the president, that the all the people that you just heard from are on SEAL Team 7 Alpha Platoon. So when you go after them, which they invariably will, and Gallagher already has, understand that they're going after SEAL Team 7, every other member. And so they like to hide behind the troops at every turn. Oh, Here, I had to give a giant amount of money to the Pentagon, I uh, support the troops. No, you don't. Your troops make, incoming guys make about $19,000 a year, okay? Uh, I support Eddie, Eddie Gallagher because he kills random uh, Muslims. Um, uh, but hey, I support the troops. No, you don't. You don't support the uh, rest of uh, SEAL Team 7 who say that he's that Gallagher is evil and will kill anything in his path, uh, civilian or otherwise. One of the uh, folks he's accused of killing was a 12 year old. And it is other SEAL Team 7 members saying, watch out, this guy is a huge problem. So now they will attack the military again and they'll attack the other people who are, why would all of them lie together? Why would, that doesn't make any sense at all. But they'll hide behind false patriotism and false support of the troops to support monstrous people like Gallagher. So I agree with you both. I mean, Look, anyone trying to raise a child right now in this era when the human id is encouraged to run free and do whatever it wants is facing a real obstacle. How do I tell my kid, don't be a racist, respect women, uh, uh, don't lie, do your homework, don't mock disabled people, and then watch this. This should be a slam dunk when you're debating with your conservative Christian loved ones over the holidays. You don't get to call yourself a Christian and play dumb about this. This guy was a serial killer who was in the military so he could do it for legal ways. And the, the most damning thing about it is, as you pointed out, it, how rare is it for SEAL team members to actually come out publicly and talk about what they do? When professional killers say that someone's killing too much, we should lean in and listen, they could have impeached this guy one minute into his inaugural address for violating the emoluments clauses. Now you can throw war crimes on top of it. It's an impeachable offense and it's an insult to every serviceman and woman and every man and woman who manages every day to contain themselves and not murder people. When Muslims don't trust us, it's because of stuff like this. And look guys, it isn't about, I know right wingers hate Muslims, so anytime we talk about uh, valuing the life of a Muslim, they just turn off and they go, ah, no wonder, these guys are soft. Why don't we just murder mm -hmm. them, right? Uh, it, but it isn't about them. Yes, it's important and obviously we should care about that, etc. But it's about us. It's about who are we? Are we a country of laws? Do we have a military that is decent and, and that follows international law, doesn't commit war crimes? Or if you say, no, we shouldn't, we should just let them go and let. There be no order in the military at all, basically some degree of chaos, and let them murder whoever they like, whether they're combatants, civilians, 12 years old or not. Okay, then you you are arguing that America should be the bad guys. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what the Nazis did. That's what the Al Qaeda does. That's what ISIS does. Chop off their heads. Who cares? Who cares about international law? Who cares about morality and decency? Let's just make, kill them all. Well, okay, then then maybe you should go and 
you know, and join one of those groups instead of the United States military, which is supposed to have honor. And all of those guys did have honor with one notable exception, the guy that Donald Trump enthusiastically backed. And if you wanna kill Muslims because you're a Christian, stop calling yourself a Christian. You are not, you are using that cloaking device for your own evil. And people are tired of it, especially around this time of the year. This country hasn't legally declared war since 1941. These weren't even legal prisoners of war. The whole thing is sketchy as hell. And this is the tipping point, this should be the tipping point for anyone who still believes a guy who stole from vets with a scam online university cares about vets. Yeah. And so I believe you alluded to that they don't often come out and talk about the seals. They don't Very often really. reveal, exactly. And we can't say for sure exactly why they have. But we do know one reason is in these interviews, they alluded to the thing, the fact that they believed that he had been purposefully exposing them to enemy fire to draw out enemy soldiers that he could shoot at. And they believe, they started to believe among themselves that he wouldn't mind if a few of them had been killed because it might make him seem more distinguished. He wanted a silver star. Yeah. And that's why he wanted to have such a high body count. Yeah. Yeah. And so if if you justify, well, he could he can kill as many Muslims as he wants. I don't care. They're trying to kill our soldiers. His soldiers believe that he was trying to get them killed. So you should oppose him for all the same reasons. And by the way, what has Gallagher done now? He has called all the rest of the people in SEAL Team 7 Alpha Platoon cowards. Mm -hmm. Of course. No, you're the only brave one, the only one brave one who kills people after they're already captured. Kills children. Yeah. Right, kills children, kills, kills the men. wounded, kills old men. You're the brave one, right? And everyone else on SEAL Team 7 is cowards. Do any of you believe that? If you do, there's something deeply wrong with you. You should get psychological counseling. You should not be allowed to have a weapon and, and you're a danger to yourself and others. If you think the guy that every other military person is saying is a murderer and a danger to everyone and is committed war crimes, they're all wrong and cowards, but the one murderer guy's awesome. If you believe that, you're either named Donald Trump or you're a Trump acolyte and you like people who kill civilians, you like people who kill 12 year olds, and that's who you are. And the amazing thing too is, I mean, he had been accused of multiple war crimes and he eventually got off of them, except for posing with the body because right. we have the photo, you can see it. Um, and so, but he claims that he didn't execute the, the person, even though multiple people says he did. <laughs> Still sort of weird he that you would then take the body and pose with it. Also, one additional fact, I talked about this on the damage report this morning. Um, he had earlier on Instagram, I believe this was before going off to war, he had a, had a he had a knife made, he had a special knife made, and he posted about how he couldn't wait to dig it in someone's skull. And so when you're accused of having gone up to execute someone with a knife, it makes it a little bit more believable at that point, especially added on to the multiple eyewitnesses to say you did it. I love Young Turks followers, and I know a lot of Young Turks followers are of course atheists and non-believers, but this is why you need to remember your old Bible studies more than ever, because we have to stop these people from using the cloak of Christianity. That is their get out of hell free card in the media. The media plays along and never questions it, no. Anyone supporting this has to be called out. They don't get to drape themselves in baby Jesus anymore. They have rejected it. These guys voted for Caligula, Barabbas, and the Golden Calf. They gotta be called out. This is literally war crimes and murder. And, and last thing guys, so speaking of not allowing people to hide behind things like Christianity, they don't get to hide behind military supporting the troops when they say they're defending Eddie Gallagher. Because that means you're saying the rest of SEAL Team 7 were cowards and liars. Is that what you're saying? Because let's be very clear about this. Because that's what Gallagher is saying. Trump, by supporting him wholeheartedly, that's what he's saying. Look, I, I've got people I know that uh, that are family members that voted for Trump. So I'm not saying everyone who voted for Trump in 2016 is a terrible person. Obviously not, right? But they, you know, some of them say they didn't know. Some of them still want to bury their head in the sand. Some of them want to bury their head in Fox News. Okay, but if you know. If you know and you're with the war criminal right. rather than the rest of SEAL Team 7, then you don't believe in the United States military and you don't believe in our form of government. So please get out, get out of the country, go move to Saudi Arabia or some other theocracy where they murder people wantonly. You'll really enjoy it, but this country is not for you. And one other thing we should mention though is that the issue with this is not just that right wingers were, were so quick to defend him despite all the evidence, they don't care about what any of the people who served him said. It's not just that Trump tweeted in support of him. It's not even just that he's inviting him to his Christmas party, which is just 
It's sick on a whole new level. It's that this guy is gonna be everywhere next year on the campaign trail with yep. Trump and with other Republicans. He's just waiting to run for some office for himself. And and what's so amazing about it is that if you were to ask these right wingers who suddenly believe that he's this huge hero, they wouldn't be able to tell you anything about his military record except the war crimes that he has been accused of. They don't mind that he's been accused of killing children and the elderly and prisoners of war. And that's this, why they know who he is, that's why they care about this him. This endangers the safety of our troops. There is no reason for any Muslims to believe Americans anymore when they see that you can literally murder us, go through the charade of military justice, and yeah. then have this reality show racist clown give you a pass. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.